Welcome to another DTS support video. In this one, we're going to be doing uh, something that I like to do when working with support customers and uh, coaches taking advantage of our training package. We're going to do a little code window improvement. So we were given this volleyball code window and asked um, one to make the coding a little more efficient if possible, as well as um, a way to get some additional information out of the clips between matches and obviously post game. So we're going to look at that and we are using Game Breaker Plus and uh, some stock footage from Virginia. This is the code window we were we are using and looking to improve. Uh, you can see there's a serve receive and serve transition is when we are serving and these side out buttons were added because that was the information that they're looking for. They want to bring up um, the clips of when either a point is won or lost that results in a change of serve to identify those and then uh, just play accordingly. So we're going to look at how this window works and then the ways we're going to look to improve on it. So we're going to start coding. Let's jump back to the beginning. Alright, um, pretty simple window here for the time being that this is what we're looking at. Um, red is on off so you're going to start it when the serve begins and turn it off when it ends. And then right now we're coding for the side outs to designate these points um, as the side out ones. So um, we're gonna what we're the way we're gonna do this is every serve we're gonna on off. And even if there is no change in serve, because that'll give us a lot of flexibility to know how many points were served or won in a certain uh, rotation rather than one big long clip. So we'll get this point. I've done this already, actually done it a couple times. Um, so what we're going to do is just give you continue uh, through another serve to make sure that we understand how this window works and then I'll bring in some other codes and uh, begin kind of the work. Now if since we're not coding for other things I could speed up the overall play of the video but um, to make it faster because that way I can target these things easier one thing you can do but again normally in, in like with volleyball you're going to be coding setter actions and types of hits and locations so we're going to uh, um, just leave things as they are alright so this is what you get the serve side out um, pretty simple if this is all we were coding what I'm going to do is bring in more of a full coding to give you a flavor of what we're looking at. And this is what you get. Okay, we've added in some types of hits, again, the setters, actions, and the serve receive. So coding is good, but uh, just the fact is as you're filling your timeline with other things, it gets a little crowded. So to pull out the serve receive gets a little difficult. Um, but Game Breaker has a sort function. So you can sort by name, color them by name, but because these are all currently the same color, it's going to result in um, just alphabetical listings, which doesn't really help us out a whole lot. But we can, using the colors, color ability in Game Breaker, color our buttons to sort that way. As you saw up here, you can sort color them by name. So, um, again, an advantage of working, being a support customer or having training is we can map out and plan this accordingly and really make sure we fully explain the color feature. Um, if that sounds like something you want or are, please let us know. If not, you can email support at dtsvideo.com and go that direction. But uh, in short, Game Breaker, Game Breaker will sort left to right, top to bottom. So for this one, I like green, and I want serve received to be first, and my serve transition to be right after it. Immediately followed, I want my serve received to... Again, going to pick the color right after it for my transition. All right, now it would take a little more planning and mapping to add in the other things, but the idea is for your code window to end up like this. All greens, and I did not color the side outs, and I, again, will explain that why here shortly. So um, when you would code with this, this is what your result would look like. Alright, there we go. Colored. Now, again, we're going to use the sort because these uh, still aren't really organized. But if we do color them by name, 
puts all of our serve receives ordered as we want. And when you code this way in volleyball, it gives you this stepping idea. Okay? That's why right now I did not color the side outs because we're actually able to eliminate them because I know anytime there is this step that that is a side out, that that is a lost or one point that resulted in a change of serve. So all we have to do is know what information we're looking at. So we want to know when we won a point that resulted in a side out, which would be this one. And I know this one is a hit to the outside right corner because I've seen it a lot but there it is All right, and that's how it works we could bring up this one to see let's see I know we we saw this one this is a lost point because it's a bad serve goes long there you go so now another feature that we can do typically your your timelines will have merge rows if we change that to sequential with the idea being we want to see all the points that we won out of serve receive ordered by our which rotation we were in I'm just gonna look for anything that's SR and again if I was doing this every day I'm sure I could get a little bit faster but this should work I'm not doing too bad All right. so there's our movies order or organized by what rotation you're in so you can easily see how you're winning points by I'm sure personnel in similar locations the same server and begin to identify those things and either adjust your play accordingly or make sure you stay with things that are working so um, hopefully this video showed you a couple of different features and ways that basically you can continue to build your video plan um, with Game Breaker using knowing your plan of what information you want using features related to your code window and timeline to both make that quick because we as you can see we eliminated six buttons so that's less button clicking and that means we could also delete these rows so you have less rows that you need to look at as well as organize your information so you can easily find out what you're looking for all right, if you, again, if you're a support customer and like to know a little bit more about this or uh, want to take advantage of a training, please let us know. Or if you're not, uh, feel free to email DTS or support at DTSvideo.com. Um, if you have some other questions or something you'd like to see, please let us know. Until next video, have a good one.